Hello guys, my name is Pios Katsis and in uh, today's short video we will talk about time span. Now probably you are already familiar with that and you have uh, used it a lot of times, but uh, I think it's a good idea to see exactly how it is and maybe this video will serve as an introduction to an upcoming one about hosted services. So a time span represents a time interval, so we calculate, we express with that durations. Let me give you some examples. I can say var time span equals and I can use one of the constructors from time span so I can say new time span and as you can see we have different constructors we can pass day, hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds, microseconds, seconds and ticks. Now ticks is uh, the smallest uh, unit of time in uh, .NET and C Sharp and uh, it is equal to 100 nanoseconds. Probably you have uh, created time spans with uh, the static methods of uh, the struct time span. So you had something like time span dot from hours, let's say five hours, and that represents um, a five hour duration. You can say then var time span two equals with time span dot from hours, let's say two. And we can have a result that will be a time span as well, and we can say time span minus time span two, and we can print our result. So console dot right line result dot, and as you can see, we have um, access to uh, all of the properties that are time related. Uh, I want the hours, so that uh, I expect that to be two, and if I run that, that will be two, and that's three because five minus two equals three and not two. Okay, so it uh, works as expected, unlike me. And uh, also let me copy and paste two date times. So I have 1st of January and 2nd of January. And I can set the result now to be the difference between those two date times. So I can say date time 1 minus date time 2. And uh, that uh, operation will return a time span since we want to calculate the interval between these two dates. So if I say result dot days, I expect the result to be one and let's test that. And the result is one. Now if you want to be more precise about uh, the difference between uh, two dates that maybe there are uh, years apart, there are uh, better ways to do that, but that's a discussion for another video. So a uh, common use case uh, for time spans is in uh, background services and uh, let's say that uh, we have a background service that uh, we want and uh, we want it to run every let's say five seconds a common uh, way to do that is with a periodic timer and uh, let me see what i mean i'll have a var called timer and that will be equal to a new periodic timer and i can pass in the constructor a time span so I'll say time span from seconds and I'll say five seconds. So we give it a, a, five, seconds, a five seconds time interval. Now I can await for the timer dot wait for next tick async. And the, since in the constructor we give it a period of five seconds, that uh, method wait for next tick async, it will return true every five seconds. So I can use that as the condition in a while loop and I can say while await timer dot wait for next tick async. I can have uh, my operation in here that will take uh, that will happen every five seconds. So let's take the time and I'll say time equals uh, time only dot from day time and we want the current day time and I want to print the time so we can see in the console that it prints every five seconds so I will say console.write line time dot to string and let's pass the format and that is it hours hours minutes and seconds so now if I run that as you can see in the console every five seconds it will print the current time. 
so 48 seconds 53 seconds and then will be 58 seconds and yeah it works as we expected it work so we saw what the time span actually is how we can create time spans and uh, some usage of them. In the next video we will see how we can use hosted services and uh, we will use that periodic timer. So if you like this video or you are excited about the next one in uh, hosted services please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice one.